I'm Bobby and I grew up on on my family's farm. I moved to the big city, let adventure take me far. It's Hobbies with Bobby, Bobby, yeah! This is Hobbies with Bobby. Hello, welcome to my Wink at Painting Camp video. I started today and have five days of painting at the local community center. I didn't know what to expect on day one. I thought it might just be people my own age, but there were all kinds of people. There were kids, big kids, adults, and even a couple grandparents. I'm a little bummed because on the first day of painting class, we didn't even paint anything. Our teacher, Ms. Meredith, explained how painting is like a journey or something like that. I don't totally see it yet. I hope we do a bunch of painting tomorrow because I'm not very good, but I wanna learn. So, day two. This is what we painted. It's just blue. Painting teacher Meredith said that before we can paint complicated paintings, we need to learn the basics. Ugh, seems a little too basic to me. Well, day three, and this is all we have. At least we're adding some colors now, but I don't see the whole picture. Seems like we might be missing something. Miss Meredith keeps saying to trust her, that I'll understand it the further we go, but I feel so confused. Maybe Miss Sophie has a Bible story that can help me make it through this painting class. It's Bible time, time for the Bible, yeah. yeah. This is Bible time with Sophie. Hi, Bobby. Thanks for asking for help. That was the right move. I do know a Bible story that seems a lot like what you've got going on right now. After Jesus died and came back from the dead, he appeared to his friends. Then we have a famous Bible story that lots of people call the road to Emmaus. Emmaus was the town that these two men in the story were walking to, and it was a long walk. While they were walking, a man joined them that they did not recognize. They told him all about Jesus, and then the man gave them more details about scripture and about Jesus than they had ever heard before. That's because the man they were walking with was actually Jesus. They just didn't know it yet. When they got to Emmaus, they stopped for dinner and invited the man to eat with them. Then the Bible says this. When he was at the table with them, he took bread and gave thanks, broke it and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him as Jesus and he disappeared from their sight. Whoa. When Jesus prayed for the meal, they finally recognized that the man on the journey with them was Jesus himself. He was with them the whole time. Now here is a double super radical hidden fact about this verse. The word disappeared in English means to be totally gone. But in the Greek language where this Bible verse was originally written, that word means unmanifest. Okay, repeat after me. Un. Un. You can be louder than that. Un. Un. Man. Man. I. Uh. Fest. Fest. Put it together. Unmanifest. Unmanifest. Awesome. Unmanifest means that Jesus was still there. They just couldn't see him anymore. To be there but invisible to the eye, that is wild. So this story teaches me that when we journey with God and then invite Jesus to be with us, Jesus never leaves us. I hope that helps, Bobby. Good luck with the rest of your painting class. Yay! Okay, I just finished day four of painting class. That Bible story totally helped me. I can definitely relate to the two guys on the long road. They didn't see the whole picture, just like I don't yet either but they kept walking and it turns out Jesus was with them the whole time. My art teacher, Miss Meredith, she's actually pretty great, even though I still do not understand all that we're doing. I watch how she paints and try to do what she does. Miss Meredith came over and worked with me some today. Hopefully tomorrow, it makes more sense. Guess what? Big stuff happened today. Now, I bet just like me, you're looking at this painting and thinking, wow, Bobby, that's not that special. Well, today we did some details. And then Miss Meredith, she said we were done. But just like you, 
I was confused until she did this. Wow, right? Even though I didn't know it, I painted this beautiful butterfly landing on a sunflower. Miss Meredith said that sometimes as new painters, we convince ourselves that we don't know how to paint and we're not doing very well. But in reality, when we keep doing the work and we follow the teacher, we can paint something really beautiful. And she was right. Miss Meredith, she was with me the whole time. And in the end, I can see what she saw in me the entire time. Just like the road to Emmaus story from the Bible, Jesus walks with me and you, even when I cannot see him. Jesus is always with me at school, at home, when I do my hobbies, when I'm lost and confused, and also when I do something really great. I'm glad this week I can learn from painting and also from the Bible. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really hope to see you guys again soon. Remember, Jesus is always with you too. Bye. This is Hobbies with Bobby. 